Producing over 500 hours per week of talk radio, GCN Live is a world leader in talk radio. Archives for the following program can be found at GCNlive.com. What is up? Good morning and greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. No doctors required, no drugs required, no insurance companies required. It does it on its own, and it may seem like a miracle, but it is no miracle at all. It is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Our number on the bright side today and every day is 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. If you want to uh, get on, uh, give us a call at 855-660-4261 today. Try to do it early. We have a guest coming on in our uh, in the bottom of the hour, at the bottom of the hour. So we'll take our calls or phone calls in the second segment. 855-660-4261. Try to get on board early. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the Bright Side, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com. Brightsideben.com. We've got a shopping cart with all the longevity products up. And you can also click on the Join the Team link if you want to start a longevity business, earn yourself some thank you checks, make some money selling longevity products, and help spread the word about how important and how powerful and how effective a good nutritional supplement program can be. I've seen the results from the longevity products personally for the last 17 years and quite dramatically in the last five or 10 years, people losing hundreds of pounds, literally 150 pounds, 120 pounds, 110 pounds, people getting off their medications, eliminating their walkers, not having surgeries, getting off all their prescription drugs or at least weaning themselves off their prescription drugs just by getting on the longevity products. If you want more information, click on the Join the Team link. Somebody will get back to you, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Okay. We're talking beta-glucan and the immune system. Later on, we're going to talk a little bit about zinc and the immune system. Beta-glucan has so many benefits to this stuff. I've been using it in my skincare products now since the early 1990s as a sun protection ingredient. It's not a sunscreen or a sunblock, but it does boost the skin's immune system. The skin, you can put it right on wounds. There's lots of literature that talks about it being very effective for wound healing. It's good for infections, to prevent infections, to help heal infections. And on top of everything else, beta-glucan is a wonderful way, using beta-glucan is a wonderful, wonderful way to lower blood cholesterol. Lots of literature that talks about using beta-glucan, the various forms of beta-glucan to help lower blood cholesterol and blood fats, non-toxic, of course, not like statin drugs, not like the medical model. You get beta-glucan either supplementally. Longevity has purchased a company that will uh, hopefully in the next... 30 days, 60 days or so, real soon, you'll be able to purchase beta-glucan products from Longevity. In the meantime, vegetables are going to be a great source of beta-glucan. Mushrooms are a good source of beta-glucan. Yeast, nutritional yeast, brewer's yeast, which is a great supplement on its own, also is a good source of beta-glucan. 
Vagal can is also great for your liver. The liver is a key player in detox, a key player in immunity, and a key player in prostaglandins. We've been talking about prostaglandins here, and we're going to finish up talking about prostaglandins probably by the end of the week. In the meantime, you can use beta glucan to boost prostaglandins. Prostaglandins themselves are antiviral, anti flu, anti shingles, ultimate EFAs, people. Get yourself on the ultimate EFAs, EFA, ultimate EFA plus. Prostaglandins are a type of activated essential fatty acid, as we've said before. Anyway, beta glucan for the liver. The liver is probably the most important single structure for the immune system and for keeping uh, for, for uh, infections, for helping the body fight microbes and pathogens and viruses, etc. For Ebola protection, keeping your liver healthy is a major Ebola antiviral strategy and an anti-cancer strategy as well. There's lots of nutrients that are important for the liver in addition to beta glucan. Selenium, the ultimate selenium is great for the liver. Same with vitamin A, same with vitamin E, same with the ultimate EFAs. But of all the nutrients that play a role in the health of the liver, None is more important than plain old, inexpensive zinc. I love this stuff, zinc. Now, I'm not saying that zinc is the end all and be all for the liver, but there's no other nutrient that's more important than zinc when it comes to liver health. Zinc is stored in large quantities in the liver. It's a key player in detoxification enzyme reactions that take place in the liver. It's important for keeping the liver the liver itself, the organ, the liver, uh, uh, protected from stresses, especially the stress of alcohol. If you're drinking a lot of alcohol, if you have a binge drinking evening, make sure you're using zinc before you go out drinking. And then after you go out drinking, you can help protect yourself from a hangover. If you take uh, 50 milligrams of zinc a day on a regular basis, you may not even get hangovers. In fact, zinc is actually a key ingredient in a lot of hangover remedy products. Zinc is also protective against liver poisoning, and zinc can protect the liver from the toxic burden of drugs, pharmaceuticals, and other poisons, food additives, drink additives. I'm not talking here about side effects from, from prescription drugs. I'm talking about just the work the liver has to do to detoxify itself from prescription drugs can be upregulated or improved by making sure that you're using 50 milligrams, 50, 50 milligrams of zinc a day, zinc picolinate a day. That's the best form of zinc. I don't like the, the cheapo Walgreens kind of zinc, zinc sulfate, zinc gluconate. If you've ever taken zinc and ended up with a tummy ache, and now you think you don't want to take zinc anymore because it hurts your stomach, it's probably the wrong kind of zinc. High doses of zinc sulfate and zinc, zinc gluconate can indeed cause some stomach distress. Personally, I like uh, zinc picolinate and also uh, zinc monomethionine. Those are a little bit pricier forms of zinc, but in my opinion, they're a little bit better, a little bit easier to absorb. And if you've had a history of stomach or digestive distress from your zinc, chances are you're using sulfate or gluconate and get yourself on the picolinate and you'll notice that you don't have as much digestive distress. If you're one of those people out there with hepatitis C and a lot of folks have hep C, you should know that zinc can be important for Mitigate, excuse me, mitigating the symptoms of zinc of uh, of uh, hepatitis C and improving the prognosis of hepatitis C. Don't waste your money on crazy thousand dollar a pill medications. Don't waste your time going to a doctor who can do absolutely nothing for hepatitis C. Protect your liver. Correct digestive problems. Stay off of prescription drugs. How ironic is it that they give a liver toxic drug? to help with liver disease, with liver poisoning or liver inflammation, which is what hepatitis is. So you get a drug for your hepatitis, which is uh, hepatitis means an inflamed liver. So you get a drug for an inflamed liver that the liver how has to, ha, ha, that, that increases the work that the liver has to do. How intelligent is that, doctor? Ask your doctor how brilliant that is. If you have hep C, chances are you're deficient in zinc. And anyway, chances are you're deficient in zinc even if you're, you don't have hepatitis C. We're all deficient in zinc. By the way, zinc and sugar metabolism go together. So the more sugar you're eating, and that includes bread, of course, and pasta, and rice, and potatoes, and fruit, and fruit juice, et cetera, et cetera, the more zinc you need, and the more zinc, the, the more likely you are to be experiencing zinc deficiency. Zinc is part of the insulin molecule. So if you're cranking out a lot of insulin and you're not replacing your zinc, there's a pretty darn good chance that you're going to be deficient in zinc. You guys, can you see what's happening here? How much of our diabetes epidemic and our hepatitis epidemic and our fatty liver disease epidemic and our toxification epidemic and our epidemic, 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 which is, seem, to, seem to be endless, are nothing more than the, uh, the signs of deficiencies, nutritional deficiencies. Oh, by the way, zinc's an antidepressant. So if you're eating a lot of sugar and you're burning through zinc and you're not replacing your zinc and then you're depressed, 
You think it's possible? Maybe you're dealing with a zinc deficiency issue? Three bucks, three dollars a month for zinc. That's how much it costs, 10 cents a day to make sure you're getting enough zinc. And always balance your zinc and copper. 50 milligrams a day of zinc with two to four milligrams of copper. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side. 855-660-4261 is our number. We're gonna take your calls when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side, don't go away. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. On the bright side, I am pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about zinc. I'll tell you about a really neat topical form of zinc that everybody knows about, but not that many people realize that it's zinc. And you've probably used it if you have poison ivy or some kind of rash. Zinc is just ridiculously important for the skin. It's important for so many different things in the body. Deficiencies are common, basically because of the soils. Soil deficiencies in zinc have been known about since the early 20th century. If you're not supplementing with zinc, the chances are pretty good you're deficient in this stuff. Tomorrow we'll talk a little bit about the skin benefits of zinc. It's stored in the skin. If you cut yourself or hurt, burn yourself or have some kind of topical trauma, zinc is actually mobilized to the area to help improve the production of collagen. Zinc's involved in collagen production. Zinc is also important if you have acne. Zinc is also important for anti-itching. So many benefits to this stuff. Uh, deficiencies, uh, zinc deficiencies are just one of the more tragic of all nutritional deficiencies. In any case, we'll continue this discussion tomorrow on the Bright Side. Time to hit our phones, 855-660-4261. Also want to remind you, if you're in the upstate New York area, to uh, check out, uh, to come to Olean, check out my talk for Jonathan Smith. I'll be doing that next Tuesday, uh, the 21st. We're going to have Jonathan on here in a little bit, and he'll be talking uh, giving us a little bit of the 411 on the event uh, Tuesday, the 21st in Olean, New York, 7 p.m. If you're in the upstate New York area or upstate Pennsylvania area, I'd love to see you out there. Okay, 855-660-4261. we got a guest coming on the bottom of the hour. Now's the time to get on board if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or the longevity products. If you want to get off your meds and get on a nu nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that as well. Linda in New York, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, what's up? I got a question for you. I just started my healthy brain and heart pack and my okay. um, selenium, V radical, cell shield, and mortalium. Okay. I'm just starting it today. Okay. I have to, I have to take an aspirin due to a surgical procedure that I had done six weeks ago. Okay. Uh, the, the aspirin 325 mg, that's one a day. All right. And I was wondering where can I this morning. morning. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. That's somewhat benign. The aspirin. What are they taking to you for to keep you from uh, to keep your blood moving to keep your blood thin? What, what's yeah. the purpose? Yeah, yeah. You know what? You may not even need the aspirin once you get on a nutritional supplement program. Blood clotting is a sign of a body in distress. It's part of the generic emergency response system. So if you've had a procedure, what you're saying is a procedure, any surgical procedure, uh, the body interprets that as a big time emergency. It doesn't know you're in the operating room. It thinks you're being eaten by a tiger. So it's going to clot your blood. Blood clotting is a classic sign of a body in duress. It's a classic sign of an emergency. So using nutritional supplements are one way to calm the body down. Nutritional deficiencies themselves can be interpreted as an emergency. So can lack of oxygen, uh, so-called hypoxia or anoxia, which means low blood oxygen. That's also an emergency. Emotional emergencies mental emergency. Stresses of all kinds will clot the blood, including stress. Your doctor probably didn't tell you that because he probably doesn't know this because he's a doctor and that's not what they do. They just cut and they drug. That's not their job to understand biochemistry. That's our job. You have a body. I have a body. We need to understand our biochemistry. So Linda, the aspirin is a, a way that the, body, uh, that, the, that the medical model overrides the body's stress response. If you override the body's stress response yourself or by not 
going to stress the first place, you may not even need the aspirin. Tell that to your doctor, okay? See if he knows that. He probably doesn't know it, but just tell him. Say, Doc, isn't blood coagulation a sign that the body is, is trying to defend itself from something? He'll go, well, I didn't know that. That makes sense. Say, Doctor, isn't it true that coagulation of the blood is a defense mechanism to keep the, body for, the blood from hemorrhaging? And he'll go, I didn't know that, but that makes sense. And he say, Doctor, isn't it true that if I got on a nutritional supplement program and I relaxed and I activated my parasympathetic nervous system and I deep breathed and I got enough oxygen in my blood, that maybe my blood wouldn't be clotting? And go, well, yeah, that kind of makes sense. So don't wait for your doctor's approval, Linda. Just use common sense. Uh, if you understand that the, the, clotting, uh, the clotting response is a sign of emergency, you'll also understand that removing emergency or calm